Have you ever wanted to visit an open day in Imperial College but never had the physical opportunity to do so? Well, keep watching because that is what we're gonna show you now. My name is Lawrence, I work here at Imperial College London in the international team um, and I'm an international officer. Um, part of my job is going overseas uh, to meet students um, who, and to share the exciting opportunities that we have here at the college and also welcoming students onto campus for talks, events and even when they come over for open days as well. We have to do lots of travel, we're a very, very international university so myself and the rest of the team are going all over the world to uh, meet the best students uh, all around the world. Since you're doing that much of open days, this video is only about open days, so Perfect. let's talk about this. What is the accommodation here that students can get? For undergraduate students, we actually guarantee the accommodation in the first year uh, in one of our university halls that we have. Uh, and that's if you uh, put Imperial as uh, your first choice and accept it, we guarantee the place in, in one of our halls. So we have uh, nine different halls of residence that students can choose from in their first year. And three of them are located right next to our main campus in South Kensington, where students will be spending most of their time studying. We have um, Bite Hall is actually one that is right next to the Royal Albert Hall. And then we also have some other accommodations that are a little bit uh, further away from our campus, uh, out towards kind of Earls Court, Hammersmith, White City area. Now, they're a little bit less expensive because South Kensington is a really lovely, amazing area to be in. So students do have a range of different prices they can choose from and also different room types as well. Some will be en suite, they tend to be a bit more expensive. Some will be a shared room, uh, many are individual rooms as well. So depending on what students want, they're gonna be able to select the type of accommodation that is right for them. But even if they uh, don't, for whatever reason, meet that guarantee, we offer lots of support with our on-site accommodation team to help them find private accommodation and we can recommend providers as well. After your first year, there's the opportunity to apply to stay in halls again, if, if you'd like to, or often students will find they have a group of friends and again, we'll support them to find private accommodation in and around London. Especially when you've got to know the city a little bit, then you have the opportunity to maybe choose a particular area that you want to be in as well. And for our postgraduate students, uh, through an organization called GradPad, we also offer postgraduate accommodation as well, if students are interested in that out towards a white city campus. And we can help them with private accommodation as well. So moving to London, it's a big city, it's an amazing city. It can be a little bit daunting, particularly for students coming from quite far away or from overseas, but you will have a place to stay close to the university in London uh, for, your, for your studies with us. That's amazing, you really do a lot in helping students, but when you say they apply for the second year, mm -hmm. is there any criteria you are looking at? Like, did they have good marks in the previous year or? Not, not specifically, it's not a kind of merit-based uh, allocation, it's just if students would like to stay in halls for another year it's not guaranteed but they have the option to apply but the majority of our students they enjoy their experience in halls but then want to get out and maybe live with a few a fewer people let's talk about facilities what students can find here on campus there's a really wide range of facilities that students have and can make the most of throughout their entire study so obviously we have a really wide range of excellent academic facilities so we have our library which has a huge amount of print resources but also online resources that students can use as well and that's open 24 hours a day during the week so if you're a night owl or an early bird then you can choose to study exactly when you want and obviously within each department we have world-class facilities that are specifically related to that uh, department so for example in chemical and engineering we have a four-story carbon capture pilot plant and it's an opportunity for the students in that department to actually work in a almost professional plant environment uh, and the type of thing they'll be doing if they were to work in that industry in the future so obviously just a fantastic opportunity to be able to do that during your studies and obviously we've got a huge range of different departments and labs that students will be able to uh, get involved in and make the most of, particularly in their practicals, because we are a scientific university. These lab time, the practical time, is really, really uh, an essential part of the course. So students will be able to to do that uh, in facilities on campus as well. And we also have um, 
lots of academic support here. So we have our student hub, uh, opportunity for students to come with any issues they might have to support them as well on the social life side of things. We have the Students' Union, it's based right here at the university. Um, so there's a Students' Union cafe, Students' Union bar, and also we have over 370 clubs and societies that are run out of the Students' Union here as well. Um, and then we've got a whole range of catering outlets on campus as well, a uh, really wide range of food and obviously at subsidised price for students as well. So we know you don't always want to cook in your halls of residence, so you have the opportunity to get food on campus as well. And our sports facilities, we have the Ethos Gym here on campus as well. And it's an incredible deal for students. If you pay, at the moment, the, the price is if you pay £30, you have access to the gym for the whole year. So I don't know if you know how much gym memberships are, but it's a very, very a good deal that students uh, have. And so to keep fit, then you're able to do that really, really easily during your studies as well. And finally, I just want to mention our career service as well. Again, a really fantastic thing that we have on site that students can use. Um, they can get involved in that from your very first year. So. You may think career service is just for when they're coming to the end of their studies or about to graduate, but actually if students really don't know what they want to do or just want to think about opportunities, they can approach them. Um, they have some really fantastic advisors that can do work shadowing uh, and actually lots of employers are approaching us uh, directly to advertise internships, to advertise graduate schemes um, because an Imperial student is the type of student they want. And again, that's a facility on campus. They have drop-in sessions, students can book appointments. They have lots of materials that students can use as well. And we also have an enterprise lab. So for those that are maybe more of the startup mindset, the entrepreneurial mindset, then we have uh, competitions and workshops and advice available through that on campus as well. So there is, it's compact here on our campus in South Kensington, but there is a, a wide range of different facilities and services that are available to all of our students from undergraduate, postgraduate and research level. Sounds like you really thought about all these things and you're ready to keep students occupied Absolutely, yeah. students, students, will be, students will be very busy during their time at Imperial. It is, you have to work hard, um, but we have lots of things for them to get involved in. So uh, obviously you have your studies, but if you want to get involved in thinking about starting a business, in networking, in the, sport, the clubs and societies, then there's lots of opportunity to do that. Also, I know that Imperial has a really good location and there are a lot of things happening around. Can you mention a few? Yeah, I mean, South Kensington is a fantastic area. Uh, it's uh, really, it's a bit more calm than the very centre of London. Uh, it's quite green, lots of culture here as well. So we actually have the Royal Albert Hall. It's just uh, behind our main campus here. And that's actually not only a famous concert venue, but students will have their graduation ceremony there as well. So it's a great opportunity to invite family from where you're from to be in the Royal Albert Hall for a graduation ceremony which is quite an exciting thing that students get to do while they're here. We also have some world-class museums that are right around the corner as well so you could pop there on your lunch break or maybe get some inspiration for a project so we have the Science Museum, Victoria and Albert Museum and also the Natural History Museum. Relatively recently there was a rare butterfly exhibition on at the Natural History Museum and our materials department was able to get some of the uh, butterflies to actually uh, study them as part of their research going on there. So we do have a bit of a link with some of these institutions as well. And if you're into food and shopping, then we have High Street Kensington uh, just around the corner as well. And all these things I'm mentioning are within five to 15 minutes walk as well. Hyde Park as well, huge big green parks so for cycling, running, getting some fresh air just to de-stress or whatever it might be, then there's lots of things in the area. And lastly, for everybody who's considering applying to Imperial, is there something you want to tell them? Yeah, I, I guess um, uh, three key things that I'd uh, like people to, to know or to take away about Imperial uh, is that it's a really international university. Uh, we have uh, lots of students coming from all over the world to study with us, but we also have lots of partnerships with institutions overseas. There's opportunities to go overseas uh, during your summers to do research, uh, to, to, for a year during your studies as well. So 
I think it, it is a very international university, lots of international opportunities. You can make friends from all over the world as well. The second one, we're a specialist university, so we focus exclusively on science, engineering, medicine and business. So we're unique in that aspect in the UK. So if you are looking for somewhere that's specialist to study alongside people with a similar mindset to you, then it's a fantastic place to be. And finally, it may be a bit cliched, but I think Imperial is an extraordinary place. The type of things our students go on to do in the future, um, the type of projects that they're working on. Um, if you look, you know, look online at what students have gone on to do, it is really amazing. Um, we get the staff, we get updates of the research and impact Imperial is having, and it is mind-blowing across a whole range of areas from healthcare to, to climate change. So uh, it's international specialists and an extraordinary place to be. That should clear for everybody who is thinking that you covered Hopefully. everything. That was fantastic. Excellent. No Th problem. Thanks so much. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. By the way, did you know that we organize events where we connect potential students with institutions? You can check the calendar at topuniversities.com. We are actually covering most of those events and we're uploading videos from the events on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, now is the perfect time. And don't forget the usual stuff. Leave your thoughts in the comments, like and share with your friends. See you soon.